Okay, so um, I was supposed to leave last night. This truck was supposed to be packed. I was supposed to be on the road. However, um, my TVs that I want to bring, they uh, one of the boxes was thrown away. And because the box that was thrown away had my Allen wrenches in it, I was unable to take down the, um, the TV stands that they're on. Um, and because, uh, you know, I haven't been living in that house for seven months now. Um, I was just ready to go. I was cold. Um, I was ready to be out. So, um, I'm going back today. I'm going to pack up the car. I'm going to break down the TVs. Yeah. Let's get this day started. Uh, one thing I did do to prepare for today was to make sure that everything was organized. Everything was back in its original box. Um, I'm a bit of a stickler, stickler for keeping my tech boxes. Um, so everything I bought probably like three or four years ago, honestly, um, has a box and it's back in its box. So it really should be as easy as breaking down the televisions put in one in its box, wrapping the other one up in covers, um, and putting the rest of the items in the car and leaving. So, we'll see if it goes that easily. It's way later. <laughs> it's way later. I think it's like one. I think it's actually two o'clock. I think it's like two o'clock. However, I have another TV that has to go on here. Um, unfortunately, I no longer have the box. So I'm going to wrap it up in a cover, slide it on top. Um, but majority of my tech's here. I'm definitely going to have to come back and get my clothes. Um, long story short, I have a mirror. I have two mirrors. I, need, I have three mirrors I need to go in. I have this box. Um, I want to bring my stool. I want to bring both of my TV stands. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. Fingers crossed it is. And that's where we are. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna turn my camera off. Um, once I finish packing all this up, then I'll let you guys know before I leave. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Maya. Bye -bye. See you, Mom. Okay. So I am officially driving um, my GoPro died so I'm not quite too sure where it cut off at however um, I'm officially driving I'm supposed to be there at 3 um, I do need to take a detour um, I want to visit one of my friends before I leave so um, that's about an hour off my path so I'm going to assume I'm going to be there at 3 it's a five, it's a 22 hour drive. Um, it's currently 5.14 in the afternoon. So we shall see how everything pans out. I don't know what it is, but this ride has been the longest ride ever. Um, one funny thing that happened was 
Uh, I had pulled over on the side of the highway and I had took a nap, set an alarm for an hour. Um, and PennDOT or whatever they call it here in DC, um, they knocked on the window. Boom, boom, boom. Scared the heck out of me. Um, but yeah, um, I came I came to the nearest restaurant, or actually restaurant, um, and I took a nap. And uh, that hour nap turned into three hours. So my time is pushed back. Um, I woke up, it's daylight, Chick-fil-A is open. So I got some Chick-fil-A. And um, yeah, I'm about to eat and get back on the road. I'll update you as I go. Ooh. So, um, let's see where I'm at. Ways. I have, I believe it's 11 hours to go. Um, let's see. All set. Let's yeah. go. I have 11 hours to go. Um, I stopped at Chick-fil-A again um, uh, to get dinner um, and then to continue driving. But I know the Chick-fil-A people are like, this man is a hoarder. I have stuff piled up here. The entire back is filled. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure when I pulled up and they're looking in the car, they're just like, sir, align your priorities. But I'm moving, I'm moving, I promise. So, I have no electricity. Texas is a very unique place. I do not feel like going to work this morning. Um, Yesterday I drove here. Um, I got a little bit of sleep. Um, I unpacked my stuff. I set up a number of my items. Um, but the craziest thing that happened to me was the electricity that I paid for already um, wasn't turned on. I was on the phone with them for uh, since noon um, till 5.30. Um, Originally, they were like, there's something wrong with your application. That's why we didn't turn it on. Okay, cool. What was wrong with my application? Um, I didn't have a Houston driver's license. And I'm like, well, I just moved here. I, like, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have a Houston driver's license. I haven't even changed my address yet. Um, and they were like, oh, okay, well, we can't... Um, we can't give you service until you get a Houston driver's license. Um, so my friend was like, call back um, and ask if there's substitutions because that makes no sense. Which I had already asked, but sure. I called back, I got a different salesperson. They were like, oh, hold on. I'll speak to my manager. Long story short, I had to send in multiple forms of identification just for this process to work. Now, when I send in information for this process to work, they express to me that it's going to take two to four business days. And I'm like, I paid for this a week ago and you're telling me it's going to take approximately four more days? Yeah. So, um, I spent the night at my friend's house and I'm gonna get dressed and head to work. But I truly do not feel like going. I truly just wanna lay, be lazy. I sleep majority of the day away. Today is Sunday, March 26th. So I'm gonna change that, oh. And my pans just came. Oh my God, <laughs> it's a cold morning. 
can feel my coconut oil becoming less of a liquid and more of a solid in my beard. Ooh. Um, so I'm in Kansas City this morning and um, last night, let's see if we can see the Kansas City sun. Um, last night, I went out with my crew. Um, we got dinner and I was knocked out. We went to this uh, pretty cool spot called um, Big Deck Johnny's. Um, it was cool because like they were playing, um, not karaoke, musical bingo. So you had like a few seconds to guess the song. Uh, I got bingo, so how they did it was, one person gets bingo, you got you get two boards on one paper. One person gets bingo on one board, boom, they win a gift card. Then you gotta get bingo on both boards on the same paper, boom. Once that's done, that person gets a gift card. And then you have to get um, a blackout on one of the boards, and then that's the third gift card given out. Um, one of the girls I was with, she won. I don't know if I can go, but I'm going to go. Hopefully, I don't die. Um, one of the girls I was with, she won. Um, and I won afterwards. Oh, okay, cool. So, they have an X star place here, but that's not... I want to come to this place here. Sinker's Lounge? Let me tell you, this place looks so cool. I don't, I bet you they're not open. But last night, you can't see it. Last time we were peering through, the lounge looks so dope in there. Yeah, they're definitely not open. Um, I don't know if I will do it today because I don't leave here until like, um, six i believe i don't know if i'll do it today but i definitely plan on coming back and going to sinker's lounge um and there's this bar called cosmos or maybe cosmetic it's a lounge like you have to be dressed up for it so um i might do that find out where this grocery store is. No, I'm walking down here. Oh, I was about to kill myself, bro. Oh, that's the grocery store. I'm literally standing directly across the street from the grocery store. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get some breakfast. Um, but yeah, I definitely am gonna get breakfast. I'm definitely gonna get something for lunch. Even if I don't eat lunch, it'll be good because I don't get home till like 4 a.m. Um, how you doing? I don't get home until 4 a.m. So, just something to snack on that's not processed food. It would be amazing. Um, so, I'll say, I'll say goodbye. And I will hit you up when I'm back in the hotel. Get my life together. So I'm back, I'm freezing cold, um, but I'm going to take my breakfast downstairs, uh, take my laptop with me and go edit this video, go post the one that I want to go live tomorrow. Um, and I'm gonna sit downstairs and I'll work for a while. Oh, good morning. So I am back home. I got home like very, very early. Um, and everything I didn't do before I left, I'm about to do. So, 
the goal is to clean up this apartment, finish unpacking, and um, yeah. $70. Can you believe five pieces? Like this is a five a five piece cookware set. Inside of these. I um I had it always in, which I gave to my sister. That came in a bigger box than this. So I um I don't have any cleaning products, so I'm not really going to um, take anything out. Um, I'm just going to organize and clean the kitchen, mop the floor, but until I get an opportunity to wipe all the cabinets down, um, I'm leaving my stuff in the package and that came. But these are my pots. And this is the handle. One thing I was wondering was how how sturdy this handle would be and how hard it would be to take off. Well, that's not bad. And it doesn't feel heavy. That's cool. So yeah, um, I don't like the kitchen how it is. I'm not gonna do too much in here other than bring my kitchen items in here. And now I'm gonna go in the bedroom and organize my paperwork and clean in that category.
It's April 1st. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Uh, but for the month of April, I definitely said that I was going to work out. Um, and there's just a number of things that I'm holding myself accountable for. So I got food. I'm going to eat this food. I'm going to get off the phone. Um, I'm going to work out. And I'm going to try and come back and lay down. But yeah, I'm exhausted. I wasn't even recording. I took a shot of pre-workout. I sat on my phone for about 15 minutes. And now I'm about to go downstairs and work out. I need to change my clothes, of course. But uh, yeah, let's get moving. You guys are so cool. Thank you. No problem. I hope you have a great day. You too. You too. <laughs> I wasn't even recording. Listen, I just walked up six flights of stairs after doing one workout. My thighs. My thighs, my God, they hurt. I don't even know I got the hotel lobby. Like I wanted to show y'all. But nonetheless, I was saying that as I'm moving in my apartment, what I really enjoy are hotel lobbies, especially the modern ones. And the lobby downstairs is nice. It's a great balance of colors. The windows are large, so it brings in a lot of light. My show, my apartment, I don't have a lot of light. I'm not the biggest fan of the color of my apartment. Um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the color of my apartment. So, ooh. Oh my legs, oh my legs. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of the color of my apartment. So, in reality, I wanna do wallpaper. Now, the issue with wallpaper is that I have textured walls. My walls are not flat, they're not smooth. So, my fear is that if I get wallpaper, how will that look? Um. I don't want to paint. I absolutely can paint. There's nothing wrong with painting, but you paint, then you have to paint back. And I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to do that. So yeah, so if I didn't record, I will make a, I'll record the bits and pieces that I like of that hotel lobby and post it as a cell phone clip on here um, so that you can see it. But in the meanwhile, I'm gonna get ready for work. Yeah, I need to be downstairs shortly. So I'm gonna get ready for work. Um, I'll probably pick you guys back up when I'm at the other hotel. I need to finish out my workout and I think, I think the option is that I paint. I definitely think that's the option. Do y'all watch Mad at First Sight? Wow, that's good. I am, Almond Breeze. Um, you like the Almond Breeze, I got you. That's so interesting. What's up? There we go. So I just ordered dinner. Um, I think they called it a salmon poke bowl. Um, I'm watching Married at First Sight, and then um, the goal is to make sure that I uh, finish this YouTube channel, um, this uh, New Orleans vlog, which 100% will be up um, tomorrow. I just need to um, make a background for it, so that'll be that, but I'm going to spend the hour decompressing from the gym 
and watching Married at First Sight. My mouth is watering. Either I'm hungry or this is about to hit the spot. Let's see. Yeah, the quinoa, that's not really, it's not really that good. Yeah, I'm not really offended us. But nonetheless, I'm gonna enjoy my show. I'm gonna eat this dinner and uh, call it a night. Well, not call it a night, because I got work to do. But that's what I'm doing. <laughs>